Hi everybody, you said you wanted to learn gluten's dirty little secret, so here we go. I'm going to try to keep this under five minutes for you and to make it as simple as possible. Well, let me pull up a diagram here so you can see exactly what's happening. Um, first of all though, someone did mention Roundup um, or the active ingredients which is known as glyphosate as being part of the issue too. And that is part of the issue, but we're going to talk specifically about gluten today. So let's take a look at this diagram and go over what's going on. All right, everybody, I have this diagram pulled up in here. And what we're looking at is actually the cells that line your small intestines in through here. This top part here is the inside of your small intestines. These are the cells that line it. And in here, we'll essentially say is the rest of your body at this point. But wheat gluten um, is a very specific type of gluten known as gliadin, alpha gliadin. And it doesn't break down all the way. You get these fragments. And believe it or not, in the small intestines, there's actually receptors that are specific for this alpha gliadin. And when it comes through and actually gets in here and attaches to the small intestinal walls, it causes the cell to release another protein called zonulin, which you see right up here at the top, kind of in the middle of the screen. Zonulin actually comes over and attaches to these other proteins called tight junction binding proteins, which keep these cells sealed tight together. Um, so basically what you have is more selective permeability. So the food and the nutrients and the stuff that your body wants actually passes through the small intestinal wall and into the bloodstream and the bloodstream and the lymphatic system, keeping out the stuff that it doesn't want. The problem is, is when zonulin starts to disrupt these tight junction binding proteins, this gap here opens up and now you can no longer selectively choose which goes in and out of the small intestine. So you get everything, um, larger food particles that aren't digested properly, bacteria, viruses, you name it, things are going to start to pass through in your body that weren't normally there before. And the higher this level of zonulin gets, the worse this gap gets and the more stuff is going to be passing through these gaps here. As these foreign bodies, I guess you could say, begin to pass through these gaps in your body, your body is now going to start producing antibodies because it doesn't recognize these foreign invaders. And interestingly enough, the protein fragments that are on gliadin that these antibodies are made for match very closely to other proteins in your body. Especially things like the thyroid and the cerebellum have very similar protein structure to gliadin. And what you'll find is as gliadin builds up, as these antibodies start to build up in your system and start to spread out through your bloodstream and your lymphatic system, they don't know the difference between gliadin and these other cells in your body. So they start to attack those cells as well. Now you start to get symptoms of autoimmune disease because why? Your immune system is freaking out and attacking cells that it's not supposed to attack. So there you have it. <clears throat> one of gluten's dirty little secrets is that it's a precursor and one of the causes of autoimmune disease. There are obviously a lot more. This is not the only thing that comes into play when it comes to autoimmunity, but it's certainly a player and it's one of the big ones. There are others. If you'd like to learn more, let me know. I'd be happy to do more of these videos for you.